Hi. I believe many of you know how to create a form that feeds in an Excel file using office.com. But today we are going to extend the functionality of this form to send a custom reply to everyone who submits a response. I go to office.com, I start with creating a form. I will add some question. Uh, let's say I'm going to add a text to click the username. It is a required field. Um, let's say your email. All this one is required. And I'm going to add a feedback text. And this one is a long answer and it is not required. Uh, this form name is new feedback. Now I have a form. I just want to make sure this form is accessible by everyone. So I'm going to collect response. I just make sure that anyone can respond. Now I have a form that anyone can fill. Let's preview the form. So my name is Ahmed. So every time uh, someone submit a response, a response will come here and you can, of course, you can open it in Excel or can, you can even share a summary for all the responses. Uh, but the question now, can I send an email to the user based on his response? Of course, you can add as many fields as you need. I will close the form. I will go back to office.com. I will search for automate, power automate. Under Power Automate, I'm going to create a new power flow based on the form. So I will go down to start from a connector. I select Microsoft Form. We have many uh, actions, many flows we can do, but I will start with when a new form uh, is submitted, new form response submitted. So when a new form, which form? I'm going to pick the form from here, the new feedback form. Next. Now, if I try to send an email, send an email version two. If I try to use this one, uh, I can find only, I know the response ID. I cannot find any of the details that the user has submitted through the form. So before sending an email, I, I, I need to tell the power flow to copy all the user submission. So I'm going to add a new step here uh, to get response, get this response details. So based on the form, which is a new feedback, the one we just created, using the response ID, copy all the content. Now I can add a new step to send an email Now I can customize my email. So I'm going to send this email to, I cannot find the information, so I'm going to add dynamic content. So uh, by default, we have this one, responders email. And this one is very important if you share this form with a limited users. If you share this form with your organization, uh, the login user will be covered automatically. But in, in, in our case, the user will submit his email in the your email field. So I'm going to pick this one. Subject, let's say, um, Thanks, and I need his name, so I'm going to use the name. And in, in the body of the message, I'm going to add something like here is your feedback, and I'm going to add the feedback field. Now I can save my power flow, and if I go to my flow, I find it as automated. So we, I have to because I have one before, but this one is created just two seconds ago and it is submitted. So every time someone uh, submit a form, let's go to the, the form. So if I submit a response to this form, I will get an email automatically. Let, let's start. So I'm going to Now I submit uh, another response. Now we have two uh, responses. Uh, I will open my email to check. Now I can find the reply. It comes in a second. Thanks for all. Here is your feedback. We do a test.